Hello and welcome to Cinder. In this video, you will learn how to connect payment systems to your accounting for quick reconciliation, automatic data sync, and detailed reporting. In the first part of the video, we will go through the connection steps on the example of Stripe to QuickBooks Online integration. In the second part, we'll cover the general flow of the system, what results you can expect in your books after the sync, and how to set things up according to your specific accounting flow. Once you sign up to Cinder, tell us about yourself specify your role in the company, and contact details. Now it's time to set up your first organization. You can connect one accounting platform within one organization. So if you have multiple clients or businesses, set up one of them first, and you'll be able to add the rest later on. Check out our knowledge base to learn more about organizations and how to set them up. On the next step, you are to select the accounting system and at least one, or better all, payment platforms your client or business uses. This way, Cinder will account for as much data as possible. Click View All Processors to see all of the platforms Cinder integrates with and check the needed boxes. To understand the general flow of Cinder, check the Knowledge Base articles on the left. Now let's connect all of the platforms we chose on the previous step. Click Connect, enter credentials if requested, select the needed company from the drop-down, and do the same for payment platforms one by one. Please note that if you're not an account owner, you can request the admin to grant you permissions to connect a certain platform. If you have access to the payment system, simply click Connect. A clearing account for storing all of the transactions from a payment system will be automatically created in your QuickBooks chart of accounts by Cinder. So on this step, you are to select your business bank or checking account for smooth reconciliation. We will talk about the reconciliation flow in more detail in just a minute, but you can check the short explanation on how to reconcile transactions in your accounting company in the knowledge base on the left. Click continue to move on and connect the rest of the platforms. You can connect them right away by clicking connect or leave them for later. That's it. Now click create account and let Cinder prepare it for the trial. It's very important to test the synchronization flow first. Check the results in your accounting and make sure all data is recorded correctly. To sync your first transaction, just click the Ready to Sync status. The Open Sync log contains all of the information about the sync. Once the status is green, it means that the transaction has been recorded to your books, and you can now check the results by clicking this link. As you can see, all of the details about this transaction were recorded. Customer, shipping address, product names, quantities and totals, as well as taxes and discounts. By default, Sender will try to recognize the products from your payment system and match them to the items you have set up in your accounting. So your sales will be automatically categorized by income accounts assigned to certain products and the inventory will be updated if you're tracking it. So all of your reports will be clear and up to date. For example, the profit and loss report showing breakdown by income categories. If you notice that some details about your transaction were not recorded correctly, you can easily fix this by going back to Cinder and clicking this Rollback Sync button. This will make sure your transaction is deleted from the books. You can now go to Settings, change them to your liking, and sync the transaction again for correct results. And now let's take a look at how Cinder allows you to reconcile your online income in accounting in just one click. I'm selecting all of the transactions I need to sync in the list. Click the green Sync button and select Sync from the options. I've selected those transactions because I know that Stripe combined them into one payout and transferred a bulk to my checking account. And now I want to reconcile the payout in my book. So all of the individual sales transactions will be recorded to a clearing account that Cinder created automatically in your books. You can find it under Chart of Accounts. It represents your actual payment system, Stripe for example, and will store all of the transactions from this very payment platform. Open the register and see all of the sales, income transactions, along with the processing fees, expense transactions, recorded so that everything is perfectly balanced. Now let's go back to Cinder and synchronize the payout. Each time that happens, Cinder records a transfer of funds from the clearing account to your checking account. We selected this very checking account on the connection step. Note that the ending balance of the clearing account may or may not be zero, but it should be equal to the actual balance of your payment system at the moment. This is a great way to check whether the integration is working properly. And if we go to the banking tab, under the checking account, we will see that the bank feed line has been automatically pre-matched. 
the transfer that Finder just recorded was found. So the only thing you need to do now is to click Confirm. That's how Cinder helps you reconcile your online income in just one click. We understand that each accounting flow is different, and Cinder allows you to tailor the syncing process just for your specific needs. Go to Settings, click Configure under the payment platform you want to set up, and check the options that are available there. You can tell Cinder to automatically close your open invoices in accounting with the payments that come through payment systems. Depending on how much detail you want to know about your customers, you can have Cinder recognize all possible details or set up the generic customer for all transactions. Regarding the product sync, Cinder will try to find a match by product name or SKU for a certain item in your books or create a new one if unavailable. But if you don't need that information, enable generic product. Product mapping is another useful feature you can use if the names of your products are different in, let's say, Stripe and QuickBooks but you need the system to find the match anyways. If you want to record tax details in accounting and file correct tax reports, make sure the Apply Taxes setting is on. Once you've found the best setup option for you, enable Auto Sync, and Cinder will work in the background fully automated. There is much more Cinder can do, and as you can see, there are a lot of options for customization, but the feature that is really worth mentioning is the Smart Rules. With the help of this functionality, you can tell Cinder to record any detail about your transaction in any way you would prefer. We have prepared a lot of templates and categorized them by topic, so check them out, adjust to your specific needs, and make sure Cinder works perfectly for you. Another important thing here is that in settings, you can connect as many payment or e-commerce platforms as your client or business needs. Select the needed one from the list and click Connect. Do this for each platform you wish to connect to this organization. Do not worry if you don't see all of your transactions in this list. You can import historical data by clicking this menu option on the left. If you want to manage another client or business in Cinder, click the top left corner, select Create Organization, and go through the same steps once more. Now you know how to sign up to Cinder, set up organizations for each of your clients or businesses, and run a test to make sure the system is working properly.